Even though scientists say that obesity is a disease, many people, including some in the medical field, find it hard to believe. Has anyone told you to lose weight but not given you any help? Did you lose weight, but your doctor didn't notice and just told you to lose more? Did you feel so frustrated that you gave up on trying to lose weight? Have you tried to lose weight and were told to just try harder after failing? Some people think they can control their weight just by wanting it enough. They believe if they try harder, they can make the extra fat disappear. When faced with this issue, many people question themselves, thinking, what's wrong with me? I must be a failure. It's my fault. But losing weight in a healthy way is not so simple. There are many myths and misunderstandings with weight loss. In this video, we are going to explore those facts. Want more in-depth content? Check out our playlist and dive into a wealth of knowledge. Subscribe to stay connected. What is considered fast weight loss? Many experts say it's healthy to lose 1 to 2 pounds, or 0.45 to 0.9 kilograms per week. People often try to lose weight quickly by exercising a lot or following a crash diet with very few calories, less than 800 per day. Some find it easier to lose weight by eating very few calories instead of exercising. But if you're just starting a diet or exercise plan, you might lose more than 2 pounds or 0.9 kilograms in the first week. This fast weight loss is normal at the beginning, and it's often called water weight. When you eat fewer calories than your body uses, it starts using its energy stores called glycogen. Glycogen is connected to water, so when your body uses glycogen, it releases water too. That's why you might lose a lot of weight in the first week. After your body uses up its glycogen stores, your weight loss should be around 1 to 2 pounds, or 0.45 to 0.9 kilograms per week, which is considered healthy. Can you maintain fast weight loss? Losing weight is just the first part of the challenge. The harder part is making sure you don't gain it back. Many people who go on a diet end up gaining back half of the weight they lost in just a year. What's even more discouraging is that almost everyone who goes on a diet gains back all the weight they lost within three to five years. That's why experts often recommend losing weight slowly and steadily. Most studies show that when people lose weight at a slow but steady pace, they are more likely to keep it off for a long time. Plans that promote slow weight loss also help you develop healthy habits, like eating more fruits and vegetables and cutting down on sugary drinks. These habits make it easier to maintain weight loss over the long term. While some studies suggest that losing weight quickly can be as effective as losing weight slowly in the long run, it's important to note that these studies usually involve support from doctors and dietitians. People in these studies received guidance and help not just during weight loss, but also in keeping the weight off. On the other hand, trying to lose weight quickly on your own can be risky. Rapid weight loss diets may lead to health issues like muscle loss, nutritional deficiencies, and gallstones. When done without professional support, there's a higher risk of these problems. Risks of losing weight too fast. Wanting to lose weight quickly may be tempting, but it's generally not a good idea. Diets that promise fast weight loss often have very few calories and nutrients. This can lead to various health problems, especially if you follow such a diet for an extended period. Here are a few risks of losing weight too fast. Losing muscle. Shedding pounds quickly doesn't always mean losing fat. Very low calorie diets may help you lose weight rapidly, but a significant portion of the weight loss might come from losing muscle and water. In one study, 25 people on a 500 calorie per day diet for five weeks lost over six times more muscle compared to 22 people on a 1250 calorie per day diet for 12 weeks. Nutrient deficiency. Diets that promote rapid weight loss often lack essential nutrients. These nutrients are crucial for your overall health and well-being. Insufficient intake of calories and nutrients can put you at risk of various health problems. It's important to approach weight loss with a balanced and sustainable plan, ensuring you get the necessary nutrients to maintain your health while achieving your weight loss goals. Rapid weight loss may provide quick results, but it often comes at the expense of your overall well-being. It may slow down your metabolism. Your metabolism is what decides how many calories your body burns each day. A slower metabolism means your body burns fewer calories every day. Studies have shown that losing weight rapidly by eating fewer calories can result in burning up to 23% fewer calories per day. There are two main reasons why your metabolism drops on a very low calorie diet, a loss of muscle, and a decrease in hormones that regulate your metabolism like thyroid hormone. 
Unfortunately, this drop in metabolism may continue even after you finish your diet. Another risk of losing weight too fast is the possibility of nutritional deficiencies. If you're not eating enough calories regularly, you might lack important nutrients like iron, folate, and vitamin B12. Here are a few consequences of nutritional deficiencies. Hair loss. When you consume too few calories, your body may not get enough nutrients to support hair growth, leading to hair loss. Extreme fatigue. A very low-calorie diet may mean you're not getting sufficient iron, vitamin B12, and folate, putting you at risk of extreme fatigue and anemia. Poor immune function. Insufficient calories and nutrients may weaken your immune system, increasing your vulnerability to infections. Weak and brittle bones. A lack of vitamin D, calcium, and phosphorus in the diet may lead to issues such as weak and brittle bones. Development of gallstones. Another potential consequence of losing weight too quickly is the development of gallstones. Gallstones are hard pieces that form in the gallbladder and can be a painful side effect of rapid weight loss. Typically, the gallbladder releases digestive juices to break down fatty food for digestion. If you're not eating much food, the gallbladder won't release these digestive juices, allowing substances to sit and form gallstones. These stones can get stuck in the gallbladder's opening, causing a gallstone attack characterized by severe pain and indigestion. Additionally, fast weight loss through a crash diet or very low-calorie diet is associated with various side effects, including hunger, fatigue, irritability, feeling cold, muscle cramps, dizziness, constipation or diarrhea, and dehydration. To promote a healthy rate of weight loss, consider the following tips. Eat more protein. A high-protein diet can boost your metabolism, keep you fuller for longer, and preserve muscle mass. Cut back on sugar and starches. Research suggests that a low-carb diet may be effective for weight loss. Reducing sugar and starch intake helps lower your carb intake. Eat slowly. Chewing your food thoroughly can help you feel full for a longer time and may lead to consuming less food. Drink green tea or oolong tea. Studies indicate that drinking green tea may boost metabolism by 4-5% to and increase fat burning by up to 17%. Get plenty of rest. A lack of sleep can impact your hunger and fullness hormones. It may increase ghrelin, the hunger hormone, and decrease leptin, the fullness hormone. This imbalance could make you feel hungrier, making it more challenging to lose weight. Engaging in resistance training, such as lifting weights, can be beneficial in preventing muscle loss and counteracting the potential decrease in metabolism that can occur during weight loss. Consider trying high-intensity interval training, or HIT, which involves short, intense bursts of exercise. Unlike regular aerobic exercise or cardio, HIT continues to burn calories even after you've finished your workout. Including soluble fiber in your diet is another strategy. Research suggests that soluble fiber may assist in burning fat, particularly in the abdominal region. Subscribe for exclusive access to behind-the-scenes content, bloopers, and special giveaways. Don't miss out. Hit that subscribe button.